And uh, well, we kind of uh, discussed already uh, some of the themes, but um, am I right in saying this is a more introspective song? Yeah, it's totally, totally reflects upon the inner <laughs> war that goes on in, ma in many people. Yeah. And, and is this then taken f from your own life in a way? Partly, yeah. Because I, I wrote uh, a line down, and I'm not sure if you want to talk about it, but uh, drowning in myself as I'm facing imperfection. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on, but the pain makes me feel still alive. So I wondered where that came from. Well, I, I think that's, uh, for me, I always strive to be perfect, you know, and, and I always have to surrender because I'm not, never perfect. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that is a very personal line for me. Uh, and I think many people can relate to if you're a perfect perfectionist, it, everything's going to be tough for you in life. <laughs> yeah, like the, yeah. The, the OCD thing is, um, yeah. I'm a little OCD, so it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to be like 100% happy, you know? Sure. Because you always are looking for the, the top of everything, or, or whether it's uh, music or the album covers, the artwork. I'm always like um, to the last second making sure that it's exactly like I think it would should be or whatever and, mm -hmm. and sometimes that f leads into your personal life uh, like if I go on vacation it's super hard for me to just like lay and like at the beach and just do nothing it's <laughs> my brain is just like <laughs> so it, it definitely uh, it's a good thing to be perfectionist but it also is a little bit of a of a pain in the ass, you know? Right. Yeah. But is it then with everything or, or with, with music that you, when you're on holiday you think about music and, and or can it be anything? Um, pretty much everything. I mean, um, I try to like look at things like an engineer would do, like finding mm -hmm. the most um, essential way of doing things and um, so, but when I'm on vacation it, I'm always thinking about ideas for the band and for the live shows. I'll have my phone, like if I'm somewhere and I see something that inspires me. Mm -hmm. Drives my wife kind of crazy, <laughs> but <laughs> it, uh, it works somehow. So you have a big log book of everything. Yeah. Of, uh, well, I, I find it interesting because especially with music then, uh, because, and then today with social media, everybody has their opinion about stuff. And, yeah. uh, what is it like then, then to put something out that, that you are hopefully happy with, but then people have their opinion about mm -hmm. it? It's just the way it goes. It's hard. It's really hard, especially uh, before mm -hmm. for me, because I, you always uh, kind of have what you already have done, mm -hmm. and that's already fixed and set in time in history. And I'm get, I get always scared to, to start and do something new because I. I I second guess myself, and again, this imperfection thing, I, mm -hmm. I never think I can do it. And, and I, somehow I, we always do it, you know? We always make a new thing, and then that's history. Right. But before, for me, it's the worst, like before I even start, and okay. like, oh, how, how's this gonna work? It's like, <laughs> do I have music in me still, or do I think anything, or do I, be do I have beliefs, or mm -hmm. I, you never, I, it's really like going back into yourself for me mm -hmm. to do something like this and then come out on the other side and say, oh, actually, I, I have opinions and <laughs> I, yeah. I, I live by a kind of simple motto when it comes to that. You do the absolute best you can mm -hmm. for the time period you have. And I don't really care about uh, too much about the opinions of certain people unless it's somebody that I really respect, you know? Mm -hmm. But you'll see trolls that it's like, what are you gonna do? Who cares right. about that, you know? So I try not to think too much about uh, that kind of thing. We just do the best that we can. Mm -hmm. We listen to it, our team, everybody. Um, and if we're happy with it, we, we feel like we kind of represent our fan base too. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, last question about this and then, but Tommy, was there a, a turning point for you then where, where you first worry, but then you kind of feel like, okay, is, is that a song or? Well, it's like Thomas said, when you f start feeling that you have all the, the elements that you need, it's very comforting. Because, but it, all, it just kind of happens organically, at, and you never know when it, when it happens, or I don't. 
Mm -hmm. I just I just sit there and, and I have like a million ideas and a million stuff. And I also the thing is that for for us when we're cre creative, uh, you have so many possibilities all the time. Right. Like you have a million stuff that you want to do but you're not going to be able to do, and you see you see everything that is not there too, mm. and that could have been there. And you, so, sometimes it's hard to feel like, okay, it's, now it's time to stop, or now it's, <laughs> you know, if I always search for this <laughs> in absurd amounts, you know. Is, is it good then uh, to have somebody like Sasha who's kind of outside of the, the, the inner circle to tell Absolutely. you Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Having that, um, I mean, he's, you know, he's like, an, he's like another member of the band, though, mm -hmm. but he also is objective. Um, at the end of the day, he is the producer, one of the songwriters, but he has an object objective opinion about it. And he's known the band since the fourth Legacy album. So sure. obviously he's got a really good basis for what the Camelot sound is, you know? And mm -hmm. that's a crucial component, I think, to when, you, when the record's done, to have that outside voice that kind of, uh, you know, is also frank with you. He can be honest with you about it. You know? try to be sugarcoat it and not try to be too nice about it. No, this is not gonna, this is not cool guys or whatever. So it's always good to have that. You know, we also have family and, and friends that we play some of the stuff to and bounce ideas off of. Right. I want to go into uh, <coughs> kind of the three elements of, of the shadow uh, empire a little bit, or the shadow theory. Because, um, well, especially uh, the shadow key, the resistance bit, and, and you mentioned that, um, it already, but what I wrote down about it is, is you forge your own happiness. I read that somewhere. So, so how much, how much of, of, of kind of this, this, this theory is based on the political climate as well, and kind of uh, mm -hmm. finding your uh, finding your happiness in, in what's going around, going on around you. Well, uh, everything. <laughs> actually okay. you know everything because this is the world we live in mm. and uh, I see we, in the society you see people being victims you know like they they want people to change their lives and to pick them up when they fall and, and but I think I don't think that that's that, that's never gonna work mm. I think you have to find the, the strength within yourself to change to face your fears and to change as a person, to become a happier person, to make other people happy. And uh, I think uh, if you if you turn into a victim, that's already the end of the road for you. Mm -hmm. And I think if you put put it in context to to um, the story, it's more like the the, the growing part of the the growing resistance mm -hmm. uh, to face whatever you know the top layer of the people deciding exactly what everyone's going to do to fit their own agenda. Um, I think that represents, you know, being more informed and being more, uh, just taking care more of who you actually are, you know, right. and this. Today there was a, the, the, this is something may, maybe a bit random, but today there was a news thing that, that, well, again, the rich are getting richer because the economy is picking up, the rich are getting richer, because mm -hmm. I think 85% of uh, money, yeah, know. went to to the top uh, one percent last year. So, do you think there's there's an, there's a way out of it, or or a kind of? Yeah, I mean, it's um, <clears throat> it's difficult when the 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 governments are really controlled by those by those people. So, mm -hmm. the only really way out of it, I think, is a big a big re revolution, re rebellion in a way. Mm -hmm. um, you see the middle class shrinking everywhere, you know, right. and uh, it's uh, it's it's sad because um, you know you could imagine a society where everyone has a, a, a nice peaceful life where they're not stressed or and there's less crime, you know. But crime is a big business in in a lot of countries, like the prison system, for example, is right. is big business. Right. Um, they want to legalize marijuana in the U.S., but a lot of the prisons, they don't want to do that because you're going to have the population of the prisons decreased for these marijuana laws, which is ridiculous. But um, I don't know, it's a difficult, uh, 
it's going to be difficult to do that for in the near future, I think. Yeah. Because, well, I kind of forgot to mention, but in Burns to Embrace, there's this <coughs> line, we keep blindly moving along the same pla path. So mm -hmm. the kind of, uh, how do you diverge them from that, that path? Yeah, you, you've got to be mindful. You, you've got to be informed, and you have to be critical in your information sources. Like, mm -hmm. where, where do you, what do you actually believe? Or can you believe everything? Because it's really usually a one-way um, information flow. Right. So you need to be able to sort that. I think that, that a lot of, a lot of uh, good things would come with people being more aware of what's happening above their heads, basically. Final mm. question then. How much of kind of the uh, themes, and do you want to make people think, or do you want them to take away a certain thing from, from an album like this? Yeah, definitely. I mean, with all the Camelot records, we want people to think about whether it's religion or whatever it might be. Um, you know, it's not like we're trying to, like, uh, save anybody. But um, it's important to always think about things, question things, question authority, question um, information that you might receive. Um, those kind of things are to be curious, you know. A lot of people just like are ignorant because they are not, they don't care. Uh, I don't have to worry about that country because it doesn't affect me, or that family that lives down the road. I, I don't. Yeah, okay, they're poor, but I'm not poor. Um, be a little bit more socially aware, I guess, maybe. Uh, yeah. Well, on Haven, we already started talking about this social media and, mm -hmm. and how everything's just spinning faster and faster. Everyone gets more egocentric and wants, you know, they feel entitled to have more and more. Like the people growing up now, they're, they're, they think that uh, it's their right to travel the world seven times before having a kid. You know, it's like they're right, but, but a little bit the, like the labor they have to, like everyone has to work hard to get something, you know, and that's also the the thing with the the shadow key, the resistance, you know, like you have to be the one, you know, to open up and change yourself and uh, work hard for something, you know. Very very last thing then, because you mentioned um, kind of that you have to find that in yourself. Was there a moment, maybe in the last couple of years, where the band was was in a in a tough spot and you kind of had to to figure things out for yourself? I mean, you know, there's always challenges with uh, the music business, whether it's uh, lineup changes or record label changes. But I don't know. I think everybody in, in the band is always has this sort of confidence about what we do and a work ethic that is um, crucial to success, whether you're a musician or whatever you might do in life. That work ethic, hard work pays off. Um, also, like, uh, you know, sometimes there's things that you do that are, you might consider a loss, but if you learn from it and grow from it, it's not a loss, it's just a learning experience. And that's something that, that I've tried to always apply to whatever I do. You know. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.